Most music is autobiographical. You know what I mean? Most of the time you're writing about something that really deeply affects you. You have to find a way to make your intimate thoughts understood by just general people. The whole point is to raise goosebumps on people, you know what I mean? So you have to find a way to take your emotions and turn them into notes. The Williamsburg Music Center has been here for about 35 years. My focus was to compose and to survive and travel and live the American jazz dream. And Brooklyn was my home. And it will always be my home, you know what I mean? Well, the jazz scene in Brooklyn was very fertile. There was the East, there was mini clubs, uh, the Flamingo, uh, Pumpkins. There was just a whole host of black neighborhood bar slash jazz clubs that had music on a regular basis. In the jazz world, we were always working because the average club would have music from Monday through Saturday and you were off Sunday so that bands could play and by the time they got to Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the shit was hot because they had a chance to rehearse, play, rehearse, play, rehearse, play. And that was one of the things that made Brooklyn a very interesting place back when I first came there. Back then, because the community was small and very tight-knit, it was an interesting place to be because the 70s was the end of the golden era of jazz. Duke Ellington was alive, John Coltrane was alive, you know. All of those people were here, Miles was here. So those people also liked to be entertained and you would see them out and you wouldn't bother them because in New York City nobody bothers the star. Even if you knew them, you go, hey, how you doing? Can I buy you a drink? Yeah, everything's nice. So it's a different atmosphere. The local icons are no longer hanging out in the community. Now, through the uh, gentrification, I happen to be in one of the most vibrant art neighborhoods in all of the East Coast. I've been offered millions and millions of dollars for the building, but there's just no way that I would sell it. I get at least one call a week, somebody wanting to buy it, and I just say no. As soon as they say I'm from such and such realty group, I just say I'm not selling you, buy. People always say to me, I walk by this place all the time, I didn't know you were doing this in here. I said, I've been doing this for 30 years. It's just that now, uh, People realize, hey, there's a real jazz club in Brooklyn and they're playing really good music and it's not too expensive. And that's what we do. 